it looks like the Alberta NDP are ready to pick another fight with Alberta farmers and ranchers. But it's not just farmers and ranchers alone this time. The NDP are ready to go to war with hunters, outdoor enthusiasts, campers, motorsports fans, and ATV dealerships. The NDP really widened their net of stupidity this time. What's going to make all these people mad, myself included, as I fall into several of those categories, is that the NDP are going to make changes to the laws surrounding ATV use in Alberta. The NDP are examining helmet laws for both public and private lands and mandatory age restrictions for ATV use. Let me be perfectly clear. If you let your child on an ATV without a helmet, you're a complete and utter idiot. But no government can determine when my child, that I know better than anyone else in the world, is ready for an ATV. That's my job. I'm the parent. Now I'm talking to you from literally the center of Alberta because I'm actually out quadding right now with my family. It's what many people in Alberta do. Some people go on vacation to Jamaica and some people like us do this instead. We spend a lot of money on our machines because they take us to places we could never get to without them. We like to be out here in nature, in the mud, with the mosquitoes, appreciating the parts of Alberta the urban-based NDP decision makers would never ever get to see. And now Notley is about to square off with some old foes, farmers and Hutterites, and some new ones too. Farmers and Hutterites will obviously decry the mandatory age limits being looked at. Jerry Preddy, Alberta's chief medical officer, wants to see no one under the age of 16 on an ATV. On the farm, an ATV is a tool and kids learn how to use them early, often and safely. Kids on the farm have been using ATVs for fencing, hauling water, putting out hay, bringing in calves for generations. And if the NDP want to pick another fight with farm families, they'll get one. The NDP attacks on farm families are getting malicious at this point. And what about changes in the laws stranding assets for ATV dealers? Many ATV dealers carry smaller machines for younger kids. The handlebars, foot pegs, and overall designs of these machines are meant for smaller bodies. No 16-year-old would ever start off on a 50cc baby quad. What are these dealers going to do with these machines now? There are millions of dollars of these smaller machines sitting in dealerships all across the province. These dealers are already facing a carbon tax and a minimum wage hike because of the NDP. Now the NDP are musing about rendering their assets basically unsellable. This is just more unintended consequences for Alberta businesses that the NDP never ever bothered to consider. And what about policing helmet laws and age limits? Alberta is seeing the customary spike in crime and even violent crime that goes along with a bad economy. In fact, Grand Prairie, once a booming northern oil city, is now the most dangerous place in the country to live. Wouldn't these limited police hours be better spent on making communities less violent than trying to police the millions of acres of Alberta's crown lands for ATVers? My kids have been on ATVs since literally before they were born. The idea that an arbitrary age restriction from some rule maker in the government will be able to determine if my 10 year old daughter is ready for an ATV is crazy. We taught her how to ride a dirt bike safely at four years old. My kids always wear full protective gear. I don't do things to jeopardize their safety and I don't need Nanny Notley to make sure I'm a good mom. Some arbitrary rule would mean my daughter with six years of serious ATV experience would not be legally ready to ride an ATV and a 16 year old with zero experience would be okay. These are the problems with arbitrary government rules. They don't actually make anyone safer. The NDP say they're going to consult with stakeholders about any law changes. Do they mean the same kind of consulting that they did with farmers during Bill 6? And speaking of Bill 6, that farm unionization law that was neatly packaged as a farm safety law and sold to us all as a way to save lives and protect those poor farm kids from their dangerous redneck parents. The government would have you believe they care more about your kids than you do. The lefties love their if it saves one life argument. It's an argument best used when standing on the graves of someone else's kids doing something those parents didn't ask you to do. The NDP types will spend millions of dollars in public money to make cycling in cities easier to do. But they're throwing up barriers for ATVs. It's pretty clear. 
The NDP despise rural Alberta. They despise the fact our gas-powered machines make it easier for us to enjoy nature. They despise those people who don't like to do the fancy people things. Not everyone likes to listen to folk music on a patio in Edmonton. The NDP despise people who like to get a little or a lot bit muddy and enjoy this beautiful province. Is this the plan? Are the NDP saving the environment by making sure no one ever goes outside again? For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.